the angry protest two nights in a row in the city of Sacramento, California, after the shooting of an unarmed black man in his grandmother's backyard. Yeah, my hometown. The crowd blocking streets and bridges, and in some cases, clashing with drivers on major freeways. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is in Sacramento with the very latest. Good morning, Marcy. Adrian, Dan, good morning. Definitely some tense moments on the streets here. But for the most part, those protests stayed peaceful as demonstrators shared their outrage and heartbreak. Overnight, an impassioned vigil we got to stand together. clashes with police love for us. and unfiltered emotion. Stefan Clark's brother confronting officers on the streets of Sacramento. That was my brother. 20 times. Days after body camera video captured officers shooting the unarmed young father 20 times. Show me your hands, good, good, good. Killing him in his grandmother's backyard. No justice, no peace. Demonstrators for a second day <laughs> shutting down streets. What's going on here? We want answers. We're not going nowhere until we get the answers. Answers the police chief says they are working to get. Our main focus is to gather all the facts. Reviewing aerial video they believe shows Clark on the run after reports of car vandalisms in the area and these dramatic body cam videos. Also questioning the two officers, one white, one African-American, who are now on administrative leave about why they thought Clark had a gun when all that was found at the scene was this cell phone. ABC senior legal correspondent Sunny Hostin telling Dan her perspective on the case. What the law provides, Dan, is it doesn't have to be an actual threat. It doesn't have to be an actual gun. It only has to be that the police officer perceives the threat. So I can't imagine that even an external investigation is going to determine that uh, this shooting was unjustified. But police here say it is far too early to make any determination, explaining the investigation will likely take at least a couple of months. Adrian, Dan, With back so to So many you. people in that community watching very closely. Marcy, thank you very much. I know oh, yes. people there are outraged. It was a tense scene, especially outside of the uh, Kings game that was happening. I, the protests, knocking down security barriers, it was just fans had to be turned away. They couldn't get inside the arena. Big story, and it's happening again in yet another American community. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.